wind speed, cost, depths, intensity, and wind are some of the ways to define the largest hurricane. If using wind speed, intensity, or width as the definition, it is necessary to explain whether the measurement was recorded at landfall or was the highest measurement recorded in the hurricane's life cycle. In this video we will see the biggest hurricane in history. The Great Hurricane, 1780. Due to the fact it took place before modern storm tracking technology came about, not much is known about the Great Hurricane in 1780. Its exact category and origin point remain unknown, but it struck down on the Caribbean on October 1780. The hurricane likely struck down in Barbados in October 10, before making its way across the Caribbean, causing widespread death and property damage. Hurricane Mitch, 1998. Hurricane Mitch began as a tropical storm, but developed into hurricane status by October 24, 1998. The storm struck down on both the Swan Islands and Honduras. The hurricane proceeded to move through Belize, El Salvador, Guatemala, and Nicaragua, causing over 19,000 deaths and an incredible amount of damage. Galveston Hurricane, 1900. On September 4, U.S. Weather Bureau officials received a warning saying a large tropical storm had just passed Cuba and was headed west across the Gulf of Mexico. Officials underestimated the storm's power for several reasons. First, the Weather Bureau inaccurately predicted the storm would pass along Florida and then head to New England. Hurricane Flora, 1963. Hurricane Flora was first identified as a convection, a mild transfer of heat via fluid movement, in September 1963. It eventually morphed into a tropical storm and then into a Category 4 hurricane. Flora ravaged the Caribbean Haiti and Cuba throughout September and October as it touched down on land, causing over 7,000 deaths during its 17-day run. Hope you enjoy the video, if you like the video then share with your friend and be safe from the hurricane. To see more video please subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.